Hey everyone, it's JJ from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. We just released our latest update, Filmora 9, and our brand new product, Filmora Pro. Now I know you guys have some questions, so in this video, I'm gonna answer some frequently asked questions that you have shared with our team. So let's get started. In Filmora 9, there is no project aspect ratio to choose when I start a project. How do I change the aspect ratio of my project? When starting a project in Filmora 9, there are some differences than in the previous version, Filmora 8. In Filmora 8, when you open the software, you can choose the aspect ratio, but the project is fixed to that aspect ratio. In Filmora 9, when you start a new project and enter the main interface, and when you add the first clip to the timeline, the application will ask whether you want to match the project settings, which includes resolution, aspect ratio, and frame rate, to the imported media file automatically. Filmora 9 also supports customizing any aspect ratio, which means you no longer are fixed to the four aspect ratio options like in Filmora 8. Filmora 9 also supports changing the aspect ratio in the middle of editing, which makes editing your videos more flexible. This is how you can change the project settings in Filmora 9. Just go under File, and then Project Settings, and under Resolution, you can pick the resolution that you want. The Render Timeline feature is missing. How can I render my timeline for a smoother playback? If you're familiar with the previous version of Filmora 8, then you know that it includes the Render Timeline feature, which renders the timelines for a smoother playback. The Render Timeline feature was omitted in Filmora 9 due to its development lead time, but we are planning to add the Render Timeline back in the future versions of Filmora 9. For now, to get a smoother playback, Filmora 9 utilizes proxy GPU acceleration and preview quality adjustments. To do this, when you enter the application, it will ask if you want to create proxy files. So if you want to do that, you can just click yes. You can change the playback quality by locating it on the timeline on the right side. Just click playback quality and you can choose between full, half, quarter, 1 16th, 1 8th, whatever you want. In the preference settings in the performance tab, you can enable GPU acceleration. Where can I find the instant cutter? It's not in the same place as before. Filmora 9 still includes the instant cutter tool. In the previous version, Filmora 8, the instant cutter was located on the welcome window and now in Filmora 9, it's been moved to the main interface under the import menu. Where are the power tools? I want to add mask, face-off, crop tool, like in Filmora 8. The power tool features like mask, face-off, auto enhance are still included in Filmora 9. Power tool related features are now found under the utility filters in the filters menu under effects. These effects can now be added to any clip on any video track. I can't find the split screen feature. Is it gone? At this time, Filmora 9 does not have the split screen feature as its previous version like Filmora 8. However, we are working on adding it back into future versions of Filmora 9. There is a way to achieve similar results by layering multiple layers like this. What is the difference between Filmora 8, Filmora 9, and Filmora Pro? Filmora 9 is this latest update to our standard video editor, and Filmora 8 was the previous version. Compared to Filmora 8, Filmora 9 has added features and a new user interface. Filmora Pro is a brand new product that requires a different license, which means it will require a separate license purchase. So the feature sets for Filmora 9 and Filmora Pro are different. Filmora 9 provides a simple editing workflow. It has easy presets and customizable options. Filmora Pro has professional tools that allow you to control more of the editing experience. How do I update my current Filmora to Filmora 9? So you can update your Filmora to Filmora 9 by going on the website and clicking on the free download button, or you can go to the link below and you can check it out. Wait, I updated and now I have both Filmora 9 and Filmora 8 on my desktop. Why do I have both and which should I be using? So at this time, the Filmora team has decided to allow Filmora 9 and Filmora 8 to coexist on your desktop. So this means that you can use the interface that you are most comfortable with while still getting used to Filmora 9. Can I update Filmora Pro using my Filmora license? Do I need to repurchase? Filmora Pro is a brand new product that requires a different license, which means a separate license purchase is required. You can purchase a Filmora Pro license in the link provided in the description box below. Filmora Pro and Filmora 9 look complicated to learn. Is there a how-to guide and tutorials that can help me? So we are working on creating tutorials on the best ways to use Filmora 9 and Filmora Pro. So make sure you check the Filmora YouTube channel for updates on those tutorials. In the meantime, you can check out the user guide, which I will link in the description box below. Can effects and packs from the effects store work on Filmora Pro? Effects store effects and packs are not compatible with Filmora Pro. However, Filmora Pro has its own selection of effects with extensive customizable options. I really want a specific feature. Will it be added in the future updates? The Filmora team values your input and feedback, so if you have any suggestions on what features we should add in future updates, let us know in the comment section below. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your questions. If you have any more questions, don't forget to ask us. We'll try to get back to you guys as soon as we can. Hope you guys have an awesome new year and we'll see you guys in 2019.